Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Ghost X Feared, and today I'm going to be covering the Battlefront 2 update that will be releasing on December 17th, okay? There's going to be a new update coming, and they also released the Star Wars Battlefront 2 Celebration Edition. Now, if you were to get this edition, if you are already own Battlefront 2, to upgrade, can upgrade with the standard game, to upgrade, it's 24 bucks. And what that upgrade does, as you can see in my collections, it gives you all the skins for all the heroes, all the voice emotes, all the emotes themselves, all the uh, victory poses. So for Vader, it gave me the rest of the victory poses. Okay, <clears throat> that I didn't own before. So that's nice. If you did not already own the game, it's going to be another price released for that separately so you can buy the game and every single thing that's come out since, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> now on this upcoming update that's going to be dropping on the, um, on the 17th, as I said, I do believe, there's going to be a new map. More maps are going to be going over to Capital Supremacy. There's going to be a few new skins. I think at least one skin per Kylo, Rey, and Finn regarding the new, the Rise of the Skywalkers movie that's coming out. So, so those are the updates to come. And also to come, as far as that goes, let me get to... As far as that goes too, there's going to be two brand new heroes released as well. One for the villains and one for the heroes. Now, I, this came to a shock as me too. Because <coughs> I was totally... I did not see this coming. I wasn't expecting it, but I read... I read the forums and everything and it said uh, BB-8 droid will be for the heroes. And BB-9, I think, is for the villains. Um, yeah, so we're gonna get droids in Heroes vs. Villains. Um, they can't solo take on a hero. Solo, you know, 1v1. They can't do it by themselves. So they're, they're most likely to get pretty melted. Um, but apparently a low health hero can be taken out, um, by, by these droids. Uh, supposedly they're more of a support droid for the teams, or at least for the villains they said it was. He was supposed to be more of a support, which is great, <coughs> because the villains are really, really lacking in, uh, in the support field of things, as far as supporting the villains, boosting their health, stuff like that. They don't really have that. They don't really have that, that character around, like, Yoda, to boost them, or see who else boosts. Hmm. I can't really think of anybody else who boosts on the heroes, at least at the moment. But, um... So, you know, that'll be a good... That'll be an interesting... Uh, interesting uh, thing coming, for sure. Um, they're releasing a new map from the Rise of the Skywalker series. So that'll be pretty interesting. It is that, uh, in the trailer, if you've not seen the trailer, they, they show, like, a jungle planet. They're releasing that map into Heroes vs. Villains and... I want to say blast. Um, I don't know if it's capital supremacy just yet. Okay, it looks like we may have jump ahead. Um, yeah, so that'd be pretty interesting. I'm not sure what to expect about that, but um, I'm excited. I'm excited for this update because it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty large. It's gonna be a pretty large update. That drops on the 17th of December here, so it's pretty. It's coming up. Oh. All right, let's see here. So I figured, in honor of at least talking about the update that's dropping, I figured I might as well play Battlefront 2. It only makes sense. <clears throat> I'm really interested to see how these heroes play out, though, um, and how they're going to actually tribute to the team, or how they won't, or I, you know, I have no idea. 
They made the health bar smaller on the bottom. Ooh. <laughs> I'm losing health really quick. And so I did buy. I did buy the uh, co um, celebration edition. Um, just because, so I can, you know, show you guys um, all that stuff and all the emotes that you would get and all that stuff. And apparently, if you do um, get that Celebration Edition, regardless if you own it or not, if you do get that Celebration Edition, you will get the new skins coming out for Rey, Kylo, and um, Finn. You will get those included. Um, the only two skins that I am aware of that you will not get in this... Oh my gosh, that was... <laughs> Jeez. The only two skins you will not get are the event skins, okay? That's the Princess Leia skin that they released with their original white gown and the Farm Boy Luke. Two of the skins you will not get. They are not included on this, um... This, uh, package, sort of. So let's just call it a package. They're not included on it. Um... Because they were event skins and you had to work for them, they're not included. Now, will they release events again to unlock those skins? Um, most, uh, most likely, I would, I'd assume, maybe after the holidays or maybe on May the fourth. We're taking too um, many casualties. Yeah, um, I'm fortunate enough to have gotten those skins already, so that's pretty great. But uh, I'm almost positive they will come out with events again to unlock those skins, so I wouldn't be too uh, disheartened and too, um, too pulled away from getting this package. <clears throat> so, I'm, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for this event, to, for this, uh, this update to drop, too, because the entire month of uh, November, Battlefront 2 really didn't get any love at all whatsoever. Maybe a couple bug patches and stuff like that, but <clears throat> it definitely taken a while to get us some content. Oh my gosh, sniper. No. That will be that'll be exciting. I'm excited for that. So we are getting our butts kicked. Um and in case I missed anything, if you heard something that I didn't or if I didn't mention something, head. please Put it in the comments. Let me know what I missed. Oh, that's... Um, really helped me out, you know. Let me know that I missed something, or... If you have any questions, feel free to comment as well on my video. I am here for you guys. Try to, I'm try to jump back over there. Ready, ready? Ooh, uh, yeah. Destroy that. And he won't come out. Let's get him out. He's kind of dug in like a tick, isn't he? Come on out. You know what? With the assist. They're taking the advantage. I think they're adding some of the original maps to the Capital Supremacy. I think? Maybe wrong on that one. That's just my dream or my hope. Because I want them to add the original trilogy to Capital Supremacy. Uh, I think I'd, I think a lot of um, a lot of Star Wars fans and um, players would like to see the original trilogy hit Capital Supremacy. Um, at this point, though, I'm almost positive that it will happen eventually. Uh, we just don't know when, because they're definitely focusing these next couple months on the rise of the Skywalker's movie, which is fine, you know? New content is new content, uh, for sure. I think everybody loves that. So, that being said, at least as of right now, I do believe we have at least content Till all the way booked out at least till March. March of 2020. It's, you know, just a rough guess as far as how much content they, they're they saying they're going to be releasing. 
and working on and more maps coming and stuff like that. Because I'm sure with the movie actually coming out, more stuff will be released with that as well. Um, of course it's speculation, but I don't think they're going to give us all of it early. You know what I mean? Before the movie's even out, I don't think they're going to do that. else over here? Really? Good shot by me. Except all those other ones were horrible. Okay, make it. Ooh. Well, yeah, you know, that'll, that'll pretty much do it for the video today. Just wanted to cover that real quick and let everyone know what you will get, what you won't get. Um, what is that? I do believe we got a new skin for the commandos. Ooh. Tell you what, last few minutes we'll cut this short. We'll check out that. So, yeah, so you get all the skins for Assault Heavy uh, Officer and uh, sp Scout? Specialist? Specialist. And then you get all the skins and emotes and Victor poses for the heroes, which you see in all those little blue tabs in the beginning of the video. Let's check that commando. Pretty nice. This is my first look at the commando skins, so that's pretty cool. I mean, any skin for the commandos is pretty sweet. So we're gonna strike. That looks pretty sweet. And apparently the Droidica has a skin as well. Trainer. Nice. We'll equip that as well. Cool. Well, anyway, guys, that'll do it for this video today. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Comment if I missed something. Go follow me on Twitch at Ghost X Feared Only. Come follow me. Come watch my stream every Wednesday night, 6 p.m. to 9 to 10, whatever time I choose to quit. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll keep you posted on uh, Star Wars and Call of Duty and all the games that I cover. I'll keep you posted on as far as that, as far as updates go and whatnot. So yeah, thanks everybody for watching. And I will see you in the next one.